Hello and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Aze, playing as El Salvador. And last episode, we took uh, we took Honduras, took Guatemala, and nearly got our arses handed to us because we pushed, we overextended. Oh, and now we're going after Costa Rica so that we can get this. So we can reconstitute the Federal Republic. After that, so I'll probably push into um, into Panama. I'm not going to push into Colombia because they're in the Allies, and I'm not ready to go for that yet. After that, I am going to need to start getting a getting a navy. Probably just try and flood the place with cheap destroyers because I don't need a, a large navy if I'm. Depends on what, it depends on what I do. For now, for now, I need to focus on taking Costa Rica and then uniting the country. Here we They have one very understaffed division. I'm not going to join the Axis yet. And that was easy. This is as good a point as any to say this video is sponsored by me. I have a store for some of my artwork. Canvas prints, posters, and mugs. Most of these are inspired by or tied into my writing. And it originally started as just something to spruce up my flat. Maybe you'll like this as well. If so, head on over to asa.square.site. Thus ends the shilling of my wares. Now back to the video. No prep for the next entry into Ma. Might need to get nothing that's using um nice anti air. Planes will need those. We need them quick. Another day, probably, for them to finally. And they actually have ships. Now, let's see what we have. Reconstitute the Federal Republic. Right, now we need to get rid of all of this stuff first. So, this. Save that for now because I really need to start. Holy crap, we have a lot of factories. Spend them on. Probably going to need transport planes at some point. I guess more artillery, more guns. Um, what else to really spend them all on? Do what to do, what to do. Planes, and probably because it might be useful for. Collaboration governments. An industrial boom. This gives us power, stability, and some extra thing and some extra benefits for here. I have a lot of manpower now, so it's up to fourteen, so I can get two I get Single, single army. Doesn't much use to me, but I made this. 
All right, now that we've got this industrial boom, I can either go with railway or might as well go with this first because the factories are going to be home for other things. But the extra power I'm going to use immediately on getting rid of these debuffs. It'll take another another 90 days for those, another 45 days until this political unification debuff is is gone. But once that's once that's done, 45 days, I can then potentially go into the go in here. And that's even going to be worth doing now because I have all the infrastructure. But more importantly, I can get some oil and some extra steel production. That's really helpful because we are very behind on that. So once I've got cleared up a few spaces here, I am probably going to go into these two at least. Still have a bonus sitting around for resource prospecting, so I may as well use that at some point. Let's build up our spine here. Huh. Germany has declared war as a war with Sweden and Finland for reasons. What a weird world. But I'm saying out of that. No, nope, Germany's just broken their Molotov ribbon shock pack, so. Wonder how long it's going to take the Soviets to start pushing into Scandinavia then. Especially since these two are at war with the Ape. Hmm. Not my problem anyway. Well, Japan has just declared war on the Dutch East Indies, so um and the Philippines, so they're gonna be at war with the Allies now. Yeah, I'm not getting involved in that. All right, another collaboration government is probably what we need here. These guys. This requires us to get a lot of support equipment first. I think it'll take us about 20 days to get there. Let's see. Yeah, 20 days. Okay. Six days for equipment, but again. Um, supply down here is awful. Supply up here is okay. Next to this. Finally, we can start producing our own steel. Well, not that we haven't already, but we're going to need a lot more of it. All right, time to start doing a war goal on um, Panama. Should be ready by end of July. So our collaboration government should be done by the 6th of May. We currently have, I think it was, what? 45% collaboration, which is going to be helpful. Mainly because we do have an option to simulate panel. Oh. Well, Mexico's joined the Allies, which is a pain. So in a previous game that I never actually recorded, I managed to push up to about here and then we got stuck. 
start some spying on them. Even bother with public. Oh, because they're probably going to be an easier target once I've taken Panama. You no longer get the effect. It's real boom. Boo. Well, I'm probably going to need that. Let's go back and get this so I can upgrade the spy agency a little bit further. And guys, I don't actually have enough to give them this. He did. How much more would I need? A lot more motorized, but I have. Right, let's get, get some oil from the Guatemalan oil field. Help with this at least. Trying to claw back some of that missing steel. Probably um disappear when we do get carrying war on us. We're going to replacing this guy. Yeah. Much. Though I might change to this guy just because supply hubs are um, and I just realized I haven't updated my artillery. I haven't needed to. Probably should do that before, before this war breaks out. Alright, so we have this oil field and our specification will be done in five days. I might start. As well, so I can get into military academy. And make our army just a little bit XP a little bit. Uh, doctrines. Of days, and we will be able to invade. See. Nine days, and that will be ready. May as well do it now. Oh, thank you, Germany. This is between us and Panama. Hmm. Well, they have a quite a good bit of defense there. But the sheer numbers we have is just going to drown them. Like, there's not much they can do about it. Rating. More days, and we can just hit, hit, hit the, the beaches. Hmm, Sebastopol is full. We have complete naval superiority. <laughs> they have absolutely no ships. Doing anything? Wait for them to get into position first. Oh, they actually are underway. Like Ah, god damn it, Ace. Ah, just wait. Out. This has been a comedy of errors. Won't be enough to. And. Build up these railways. We will need them. 
building up some ports here just in case the allies do decide I'm a thresh and come at me. Oh, we're low in manpower, building up a large navy. Probably should increase the can't exactly for yes. Perfect. Now, simulate Panama. We'll take about a month for that to happen, but south will be. Put them on either side of the well, just to make uh, everyone nervous. Finally, artillery 99. Right, well, am I going to spend all this? Um, <laughs> I need a lot more planes if I'm really good. If the My next will probably be the Dominican Republic. Their civilian detention. Too much. Or Cuba. They ended up pushing the Yangs out of Guantanamo Bay. I'll declare war on these guys. Try and keep on the side. I have no idea if that will even work. Huh. That's not what I expected. Germany took Northern Ireland. I should seriously look at joining the Allies. Mm. Oh well, most. Dun, dun, dun. Cross rivers is helpful. Or because soft attack and the extra heart attack wouldn't be bad either. We had this for a while and basically just a lot of me sitting around waiting for things to happen until I can. Do something. So I'm gonna leave this episode here and in the next we will start and hopping. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Bye now.